everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I recently got a question from one of my subscribers that he was having trouble painting yellow flowers on a dark background and wanted to know why. So I thought that would make a great idea for a video and to explain a little bit about what's going on with that and how to fix it. Now yellow is a very light color. So this is actually what I'm going to tell you today is actually true for all colors, but it's with yellow, it's more noticeable because it is so light. And our brain works such that we always see color in relation to other colors. We always see value, you know, shades of light and dark in relation to other values and other shades of light and dark. So everything is relative. So when you're painting, let's say sunflowers, a light flower, on a dark background, that dark background is going to make the yellow look much lighter than it does when it's on a white palette. So as an artist, we need to be aware of those things so that we can take that into account while we're painting. So let me give you an example. Out on my uh, palette here, I have a couple different yellows. Now this is a very light, bright cadmium lemon. This is a cadmium yellow light, which is a little darker. And then this is the darkest one of all, which is cadmium yellow deep, which is much more orangey than the other two. So if I were to paint, let's say, a flower with just, just the lemon yellow, and I'll just do a real quick demo here. I won't try to make this too finished or anything. But let's say you had two flowers that I painted like that. Let's see. Uh, let's put a little. Give it a little center just so it looks like a flower, like a cartoon flower. <laughs> But if I were to paint this, this one, let's say, was against a white background or a light background like we have here on the palette. And I were to go in behind this one, let's say, and put in a real dark background. Now, already you can see probably although I imagine the difference is somewhat slight. But you probably can already see that just by doing that, this one looks lighter because it's against this dark background. So now if I, want, if I wanted it to be this color, I would have to optically adjust and make this darker so I could go in there with a little bit of the darker yellow and put that in instead so now you can see that they look more or less equal again and you know if you let's say had sunflower you were painting sunflowers which were kind of a light yellow and so they're going to be closer actually to probably the cadmium yellow light color. But you wanted a dark background, then you're going to have to make this darker again to adjust it. So you could even go a little more in with a, just a tiny bit of that cadmium yellow deep and make this even darker to match so that the yellows look the same. It looks like you have the same yellow on the different background, even though this one's really darker than that one. And a great example to show of how our brain perceives these differences in light and dark is I'll put these two rectangles up on the screen. Now you can see they appear as though 
they're shaded light to dark in opposite directions. But in reality, the background larger rectangle is the only one that's shaded. And if I take it away, you'll see that that bar in the center is actually all the same shade of gray all the way across. But if we put the background one in again, then our brain perceives it because of the difference in the background as that both bars are shaded in the opposite directions. So when you're working in a painting and you know, you're working with colors and different light and dark, you have to take that into account. So, um, so this specific example with the yellow flowers probably answers the question that my subscriber had. Uh, but another good example of this same idea is if you're painting a landscape and you put in what are called little sky holes in, your, in the edges of your trees where the, you see the sky peeking through, in order to match with the large area of sky and the rest of the rectangle, those little sky holes have to actually be darker and slightly more intense of a blue color in order to visually match because of this same principle of contrast of having light against dark and how it shifts the way our brain and eye perceives it. So I hope that this clarified, uh, you know, using color and value a little bit for you with painting yellow flowers and watching out for that uh, contrast and taking, taking it into account when you're painting. So I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video. And why not spread the joy? Be sure to share my videos on your favorite social media. Don't forget to head on over to my website, walcottfineart.com, where you can see my art, read my blog, or when you join my newsletter list, you can win free art. Every month, I'll choose a lucky winner for my email list, and that person will receive a mini original oil painting. There's a chance to win every month, so be sure to sign up today so you don't miss out. Plus, you'll get my fun newsletter. See you next time!